Hello, and welcome to this tutorial in the A10. Today we'll be looking at the Avenger Cannon and Hydra 2 and 3 quarter inch rockets. Give me a moment to get airborne, and then I'll talk to you more about what we're doing today. One, request takeoff. Enfield 1 1, Tower, you are cleared for takeoff. Gauge is holding steady. Rolling. Okay. Today we're tasked with destroying an unprotected column of cargo trucks moving to the east. And whilst this is an unrealistic scenario, it's a good chance to show you how to arm and fire the cannon and rocket armaments that are available to you in the A-10. Just going to make a turn to the right towards our target area now. Firstly, a little bit of information on the cannon. The General Electric GAU-8 Avenger is a 30mm hydraulically driven 7 barreled Gatlin type rotary cannon and is among the largest and most powerful aircraft cannons in the United States military. Designed specifically for the anti-tank role, the Avenger delivers very powerful rounds at a high rate of fire. The ammo mix is a 4 to 1 ratio of armour piercing incendiary rounds with one high explosive round. The cannon's rate of fire is selectable in lock-on with the control and C keys between a low setting of 2,100 rounds per minute or a high setting of 4,200 rounds per minute. We'll leave it in the high setting for now. We're coming up on the target area now. As we get closer, we'll move maneuver to set up for our attack run. To bring up guns mode, we'll need to first enter air to ground mode. This is done with the 7 key. Now we'll select the cannon with the C key. Notice how the HUD changes from the navigational mode to guns mode. Let's take a closer look. In the bottom left of the HUD is a numerical figure representing the rounds we have remaining. As you can see, we have 1,350 rounds left. In the centre of the HUD is the circular gun pepper. Each mark around the outside of the pepper represents 3,000 feet of slant range. The slant range is the distance from your aircraft's nose to whatever the centre dot of the gun pepper is on. The range to impact point is inscribed on the inside of the dial in thousands of feet, and the numerical figure below the pepper represents the slant range in nautical miles. Notice as I'm pitching up and down the pepper changes as the slant range either decreases or increases. OK, I have a visual on the column below down to the left of us. As I mentioned, it is undefended so nothing should be shooting at us. As I said, this is a fairly unrealistic situation. Normally we'd have to deal with ground-to-air defences escorting the column, such as mobile SAM launchers or AAAs, but today we've got lucky and get a free crack at the convoy. Right, let's extend and come round for an attack. I'll make a right turn now. Then we can line ourselves up properly for a attack run. It's important to remember not to rush things here. We want plenty of time to line things up properly. Rushing will make for a sloppy attack run and limit our chances of success. OK, 
Okay, coming around. I've throttled back, so we maintain a constant speed as we dive. I don't want to be fighting the nose of the aircraft. We want to be firing at around one nautical mile from the target. The Avenger cannon is very accurate at this range, with around 8% of rounds hitting the target. Okay, just lining up nicely now. Good range, space bar to fire, and good hits. Firing again. Pulling up and turning away. I'll dump some chafe and flares just in case they do decide to fire at us. Okay, let's gain some altitude here and then come around and see how we did. I count seven plumes of smoke there, that's seven kills. There's still a few down there, so let's come around again for a rocket's run. To select the rockets, leave guns mode by tapping the C key again, and then tap the 7 key to enter air to ground mode. Notice rockets are already selected by the RKT symbol on the bottom left of the HUD again with the rounds remaining. If you had other weapons on board, such as Maverick missiles or bombs, you may have to select the rockets manually. You can cycle through your armaments with the D key. As we only have rockets on board today, we won't need to do this. The rockets display is very similar to the guns display, and shows slant range and distance to impact point in an identical way to that of the guns pepper. I'm just coming round to line up again. Getting lined up here. Throttling back again to maintain a constant speed. Good range, firing, and good hits. Firing again. Let's pull up again and to the left and dump trade from flares again. A few good hits there, but it does appear that there's still a couple left. They've got very lucky. Let's come around and finish them off. Coming around. Good range. And good hits. One more for good measure. Scratch one convoy. And that concludes this tutorial on the Avenger cannon and Hydra two and three quarter inch rockets. The next tutorial will be on AGM 65 Maverick missiles. If you'd like to join me on that tutorial, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Thank you. It's been my pleasure.